this is Kevin McCauley and thank you for being here for another installment of the Get Healthy Tips. Today I'd like to speak to you as your nutritionist and I want to talk to you about something that is very important if you are going to attain optimal health. And what that is, is that we need to understand that we have our own biochemical individuality and what that means is because of our genetic makeup and to a lesser extent the environment around us our body handles foods differently. So you could actually be, let's say, in a family of four, and there's a possibility that every single one of you is going to deal differently with a specific food or the way a specific meal is put together. And what that means for you is, is that one person might end up having very good, positive uh, benefit from a food, whereas somebody else with the same exact foods, it actually may be very detrimental to their health. And then there might be a couple other people in the family consuming the same food, that it might not have anything necessarily positive or negative as far as impact on their health. So what that means to you is, is that when we take a look at this biochemical individuality, and you might see things out there called uh, metabolic typing, individualized nutrition, uh, nutritional typing, whatever. The whole idea there is, is that you have to look at food as a drug. And once you consume the food, you need to pay attention on how your body feels. And I'm not just talking allergies and sensitivities. What I'm talking about here is, is how is your mental acuity? How is your energy? What exactly is going on with your body when you consume a meal? So you want to pay attention, to say, an hour to two hours after every single meal or snack and determine was that meal beneficial or detrimental to you. Because the truth of the matter is there's no universal diet and there's no one-size-fits-all diet. And if you go with that approach, you could actually end up destroying your health much more than ever benefiting and so you could potentially drop some weight, but you could be destroying your body at the same time. So there is your tip for the week. And take a look at uh, how your body feels when you consume specific individual foods and how your body feels after a meal. All right? Because that can be a great benefit to you in the future. I'll talk to you next week. Thank you.